We are at Salt Lake City Comic Con, and a convention just wouldn't be a convention without Rob Pryor. He's a, an artist that uh, does photorealistic paintings with, get this, both hands. Rob, it's great to see you again. Brother, it's pleasure to see you again. Pleasure to be here. You know, I, I, my, one of my favorite shows in the world, man. <laughs> I love this show. Now, we have some paintings that we're going to give away here, but first, okay. let's talk about you. Let's talk about oh, your technique. Uh, Let's talk about your problems. Uh, you know. yes, I? <laughs> Whoa, we're going to be here for days. Um, Let's talk about your technique first, which is sure. the, the first thing that people notice. You're drawing with two hands. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I've been drawing with two hands since I was about 10. Uh, when I got to be about... I, I was being trained to be an artist my whole life. So when, uh, when I got to be about 10 years old, I thought the same thing that every 10-year-old thinks is, you know, what if I lose my right hand? No, 10-year-old thinks <laughs> So I switched to my left hand to be my dominant hand for the next two years. And then um, I was published really young. And I had math homework due and a painting, a, an international painting due in the same week. And so I just picked up both hands and I was like, oh, I could do this. And then I realized I could actually do my math homework and paint simultaneously. Yeah. And that was it. And that was, that was where it all started. So I started when I was about 10. That's amazing. I would like to see the freeway map of your mind and how everything... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if anybody needs to see that. There's a couple of chipmunks in there, and one's probably dead. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I get asked by, like, doctors and stuff to, to do the whole electrode thing and stuff, and I'm like, no, no. I don't want to know. You I don't, don't want the know. machine to blow up. No. It's, it's better to keep the wizard behind the curtain. Yeah, and quite an amazing mind that you have. To be able to do that, you not only get to do photorealistic paintings... You also, uh, of people, but you also hide some animals in there, I understand. I do. I do. I hide a chicken head in every single painting. Um, and the, the brief story that goes with that is there's a, a publisher that hired me to do a three-book series, three-comic issue series. And I was like, sure. And he goes, but here's the deal. I want to hire you, but I know you hide things. So if you hide anything, I'm going to fire you. I was like, dude, what would I do? I had a chicken head in every page? So I did. Um, it got so bad during second issue, you do a double splash page, you turn the whole thing, it's a giant chicken head. Oh, wow. He called me up at like 3 in the morning on the third issue, and he goes, you know, I'd fire you right now, but I'm too busy looking for your chicken heads. Quick! And that was it. Oh, wow. So, so you hide a chicken head in every painting? Every painting. Every painting. I, I hide actually... Two, I do one when I finish the painting, which doesn't really look like a chicken head. It's just me doing it. And then yeah. my wife was like, it doesn't really look like a chicken head signing as we're talking. Yeah. Uh, so I drop one in in Photoshop as well. So I have two. And so my prints have one. And uh, ding. ding. <laughs> Next. Next one. Um, so yeah, so there's chicken heads in everything that I do. Very cool. So if you see a Rob Pryor painting, the first thing you want to look for is the chicken head. The next thing you want to look for is all the detail. Um, what's what's going through your uh, mind when you're trying to capture Absolutely all this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, it's funny. I get asked that a lot. And everybody's disappointed with the answer because they think, oh, he's he's trying to do this. And no, I'm really not. I just, I crank up the music. I have to paint to music. So I crank it up really loud. So I, I'm signing as I'm talking to you guys. Um so I crank it up really loud, and I just go to town, and you never know what's going to happen live. You just <laughs> never know. Now, there's a certain groove that you must get in when things just start jamming and things just start flowing, yep. and there's also a, um, a certain sense of, of observation that you must have, being able to communicate, look at a picture, and communicate that right onto a picture photorealistically. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really think it's just knowledge and years of, of doing it you know I think anybody can do anything they want to do if they want to do it bad enough and for me I've been studying this stuff for a long time so I, I just have learned and taught myself to look for certain things in a face and be able to do it and do it quickly very cool I noticed you kind of um, you might first break it down into shapes yep so it starts sound simple and then you kind of get into the details after that yeah I you know that's the thing is is you, you break it down into shape and color and then after that you, you start going, oh, that guy has an eye that looks like this. So you, you start really getting into the details and start, and slowly but surely it all just comes in pieces together. That's very cool. Now, beyond uh, the concerts that you do, um, you're also expanding in, um, to toys as into well. toys. I have a, a line of toys going out through, uh, it's called Double Trouble, um, and it's with Pop Life. So they, they came to me and you know, they said, hey, do you want to do a, a line of toys? And... <laughs> Ding! Ding! <laughs> that was perfect timing. Um, 
And so I was like, yeah, absolutely. So I've got several different lines of toys coming out through them. The first one's called Safubis, and they're they're sort of more cartoony versions of my characters. And yeah, so it's fun. Yeah, I'm very fortunate with everything that's happening. That's very cool. Now, where can our viewers get the toys at? Right now, that you can probably go to the Pop Life website. But if they come to a convention and they oh. see Pop Life, oh, absolutely, they will. They will all always have them, and Pop Life will have them at their booth. I will normally have them at my booth. Um, Along with, you know, everything else. Uh, and, and stick figures. I'll have a lot of stick figures. Lots of stick Lots figures. Of stick figures. Now, uh, he's not only into art, um, he's uh, not into toys, but you've also done a lot of film as well. I have. Uh, it's funny, I'm directing a, a film uh, in China uh, somewhere in early January. Oh, wow. So I'm directing a film there, and then we've got another one that uh, we just signed, Knock on Wood. <laughs> don't even know what that means just do it uh, but you know um, yeah so I've got I have several films that I'm getting ready to direct and it's just uh, a lot of craziness but you know at the heart of it all is my art so yeah sounds like the technique of your art is also taking the technique of your life multitasking it, it has it has I do like 50 things at once I have a, a gallery show with Stan Lee that I that's going to be coming out soon and we'll have stuff like that so yeah I, I just multitask baby multitask <laughs> we have our second painting here from Rob Pryor it's a Star Wars one Rob tell us about this painting this was done for the uh, for Force Awakens. There's not very many of these around, and it was one that I just had a, a blast doing. And there was only, you know, when they released them, they released them in theaters on the first day, and then that was it. And then I have, I have what what few remain. I have left. Nice, so. Rob Pryor signing it there for you. Here's Rob, another chicken head. I'm gonna have this. Uh, he's open beak on that one. Open beak chicken head on that one. Yeah, it's it's a really special chicken. <laughs> Now, Rob, have you been doing work with uh, Lucasfilm before? I have, I have. I do, I do a bunch of stuff with them. They're, they're great. Um, I did one of the their video game. I did a bunch of their artwork for a, a an app. I, I do all kinds of stuff. And for the new movie, I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out. So it's going to be good. Awesome. So now it's time for the giveaway. If you'd like to get this painting done by Rob Pryor, simply log onto our social sites and enter the giveaway. If you don't win the giveaway, you can still order these paintings at a convention near you or go to robpryor.com. Rob, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. <laughs>